So let's look at the next slide, which is compound interest. Okay, if you look at the compound interest formula, you are going to see the following. I have there A is equal to P, 1 plus I to the power of N. What is different? It is to the power of N. Your A grade 12 is still for the value that you start with. End of with, sorry. Your P is your starting value. I is my interest rate. N is for the number of years. I'm asking everybody listening to this broadcast to focus. Do not talk to your friend. Do not think what you're going to do after this lesson. Just focus on this first example. Read it with me. Somebody's asking, ma'am, which book are you using? Grade 12. I brought my own examples. That's why I've made my own slides. So that's why I'm saying write the example down quickly and read it with me quickly so that we can go into the sum. Read, let's see. Example number one for compound interest says 5,000 Rand is invested in a savings account for how many years? For eight years again. Calculate how much money will be in the account if the interest rate is 7,5% per annum. Here comes it. Compounded quarterly. Look at this word here. Compounded quarterly immediately tells me what. Use your compound interest formula. So everybody, I'm expecting you as you're sitting there by your tables, at your desk to write down the following formula. A, my future value. P, the money that I am investing. I, my interest rate. And N is my number of years. Am I looking for A? Absolutely, because the question says calculate how much money. So wait, everybody, you're looking for A. So you put your A down, it is what you are looking for, it is your future value after you have deposited 5,000 Rand. Okay, so I am going to put 5,000 Rand into the place of P. Remember, you are starting with this value, you want to know how much you're going to have in the account after 8 years. So put the one down, now be very very careful. I specifically chose 7,5%. Why did I choose that? Because it is going to be 0, 0,075. Great. Well, where did I get that 0, 0,075? I said 7,5 divided by 100. And if you say 7,5 divided by 100, do that on your calculator, then you substitute it in there. But now, very important, your interest rate is 7,5%. Everybody gets the 0, 0,075. But this interest rate is compounded. Look at the slide. It is compounded quarterly. Quarterly means they are going to do this interest rate four times a year. So it's 7,5% compounded quarterly. Can you see it's over four? Everybody, they're going to do it for eight years. So it's eight, but you're do it, doing it quarterly. So it's eight times four. I hope that you understand. If you're dividing your interest rate by 4, you take the number of years and you multiply it by 4. So this is quarterly, right? I'm going to write here quarterly. If they said semi-annually or half yearly, listen to those words, semi-annually or half yearly, you would take your interest rate divide by 2, take your number of years and times by 2. If they said monthly, you will take your interest rate, 
divide by 12 and times by 12 there. Okay, so everybody on your calculators, SMS your answers through to me, please. So everybody on your calculators, I'm going to give you a minute quickly to punch this in on your calculators. I'm not going to write the answer down there. I'm waiting for you to SMS the answer through to me for this specific example. All you do is 5,000, open up your bracket, 1 plus 0, 0.075. Let's discuss the 4 again. It is quarterly. Take your years times by 4 as well. So if you do this correctly on your calculator, what are you supposed to get? Your final answer, you are going to have 9,060 rand and 12 cent in your account. This is going to be your future value after you deposited 5,000 Rand in an account at 0 0.75 quarterly and 32. I hope everybody understands that that is going to be 32. You divide by 4, you times by 4. So after 8 years, you are going to have 9,060 Rand in your account and 12 cents. What was your interest? How much more money did you have in your account? What was your interest? So the interest that you scored is 9060,12 minus 5,000 Rand. So after five years, grade 12, you got that much more money. Isn't it fantastic? If you're saving, then you can get 4,060 Rand and 12 cents more than just spending the money. So invest, invest everybody and save. Okay, I hope you all understand that compound interest sum. Just quickly, quarterly, what did I do with my interest rate? I divided by four. What did I do with my years? I multiplied by four. If it wasn't quarterly and it was monthly, divide by 12. Take your years times by 12. Semi-annually. Another word for semi-annually, half yearly. Take your interest rate, divide by 2, and take your years and multiply it by 2. Now we're going to come to a very popular sum. It is still a compound interest sum, grade 12s, but in this sum, they are asking you to find the number of years. So what are you looking for? You're looking for N. Find the number of years you are looking for N. So let's go to example number two. It's still on the slide here, everybody. Read slowly with me. 1,570 Rand is invested at 12% per annum compound interest. Let's read it again. 1,570 Rand is invested at 12% per annum compound interest. After how many years? There is the word that you're looking for. After how many years will the investment be worth 23,000? Do you all agree with me that it's my compound interest formula? So I am going to go A is equal to P, 1 plus i to the power of n. Everybody agrees with me, it's my compound interest formula, but now I have a. My investment, they say, will be worth 23,000 rand. So I am putting 23,000 rand into the place of a. What value goes into the place of p? 1,000 570 Rand. 1 plus, what is my interest rate, grade 12s? Read with me. 12% per annum. 12% per annum compounded. Okay, let's just go back there quickly. It's 12% per annum. So, did they compound it half yearly? Did they compound it quarterly? No. It is just 12%. So it is going to be, remember, 0, 0,12. They just said per annum it's not compounded half year, it's not compounded quarterly. Let's go see, do I have N? Can I put something in the place of N? Absolutely not, because they asked you after how many years. So N is your unknown. 
grade 12. If you are looking for in, tell yourself before the time already, I have to use logs. I'm going to do this calculation with you very, very slowly. I have to use logs. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to divide here by the 1570, and I'm going to divide this side by 1570. So that 1570 and that 1570 cancels, and if you more. If you divide that, this gives you 14,64968. Why am I not rounding that off to two decimal places? It's not my final answer. I cannot round off two times or three times in one sum. Otherwise, when we mark your papers at the end of the year, what do we do? We put an R in the margin. That means you have a rounding error. So keep five or six digits. And this one plus zero comma one two, if you add that together, it gives you one comma one two to the power of n. Grade 12s, I am looking for n. What did I say? If I need to find n, I use logs. So I am going to say n is equal to the log of 14 comma 6 4 9 6 8 divided by the log of 1 comma 1 2. I always teach my students that number which is raised to the power of n always goes down to the bottom. Will you remember that? Don't get confused. Don't now say it's the log of 1 comma 1 2 divided by the log of 14 comma 6 4. No. What you're going to remember is that number that is connected to the n goes down to my bottom. Now you take your log function on your calculator. So it's log 14 comma 6 4. So just look with me. I have my log function on the calculator. I press log 14.64968. Divide, close your bracket there. Divided by the log of 1.12, close the bracket, and grade 12, you should get an answer of 23,6, correct to two decimal places, 69. So that is n is equal to 23,69, and that is the value of n. If you should round this up to your nearest here, you're going to say, say n is approximately 24 years. So... How long did it take for 1,570 to grow to 23,000? With an interest rate of 12% per year, it wasn't compounded half yearly, monthly, it was just 12%. Um, 12 I got 23,69 to the nearest year. It is 24 years. And grade 12, I hope you understood the first three examples. I'm struggling to see anybody sending me some answers. I don't know if the computer is a little bit stuck today, but it doesn't matter as long as we've done three examples and you understood it. And we are now going to go to the grade 12 financial mathematics, which is future value.